Well, good morning. I'm here. It's early morning and we were all up, so we thought we'd get started on our video for today. So I have my friend Louie here. He says hello. And Louie and Buddy and I are going to do a little bit of writing today. And we thought we'd introduce something called a name poem. So we're going to do a little writing using Louie's name and using Buddy's name. Buddy, did you want to say hello? Did you want to say hello? No, nope, he's going to lay here and just relax at my feet. So <clears throat> with a name poem, you can typically write a name down the side of your paper. And then what you try to do is to think of a word that helps to describe that person. And the word has to start with each one of those letters. So B U D D Y. So let's give it a try. So if I think of buddy for B, one of the words that comes to mind is bouncy. <laughs> he's always bouncing around the house, probably because he's so young. So bouncy. Another word that I think of when I think of buddy that starts with a U is upside down. A lot of times he'll lay on his back and he'll want his belly scratched. So upside down. <clears throat> well, an easy word for D that describes buddy is dog. Dog. Another word I think of when I think of buddy is daredevil because he's willing to try just about anything. So that could be my other D word. Daredevil. And I think the Y word that I'm going to use to describe Buddy today would be young, because he's still a puppy. So, my name poem for Buddy is Buddy. Bouncy, upside down, dog, daredevil, young. So that's my poem for Buddy for today. So let's try one with Louie. When I think of Louie, he's a little bit different than Buddy. So I would use different words to describe him. So I have Louie, L-O-U-I-E, Louie. So a word that I would use to describe Louie that starts with an L is loving. Louie is one of my biggest cuddlers. He likes to cuddle up as close as he can get to me on the couch or even in bed at night. So loving. <clears throat> when I look at Louie, one of the things I notice is that he's my smallest dog. So for O, I'm gonna write only 10 pounds. So with my name poem, you can write one word or you can write a small phrase that describes something for your name. So only 10 pounds. You, I'm going to use understanding for two reasons. One, he's understanding, meaning that he can sometimes read my moods. If I'm happy, he seems happy. If I'm sad, he comes and cuddles with me to make me feel better. And understanding, meaning he's pretty smart. He understands most of what I'm talking to him about every day. When I think of I, <clears throat> for Louie, I think of impish. Now, impish means that he's sometimes a bit of a little devil. Sometimes he gets himself in trouble. And E, when I think of an E word for Louie, I think of energetic. Because he is my biggest ball player out in the backyard. He has tons of energy. In fact, he has so much, sometimes he can run longer than even the bigger dogs. So, my poem for Louie. Loving, only 10 pounds, understanding, impish, and energetic. So this is something that you could try at home. You could have mom or dad help you with this. 
You could write your name down the side of a piece of paper and you could describe some words about you for each one of those letters. So have fun with this. If you like it, you can even try it with your family members. All right, stay tuned. Later, I'm gonna read a story.